What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now this is my 2005 Volkswagen Touareg and as you can tell by the hood being up, it is not well. Okay, let's take a look. As you guys can see, it does have a check engine light and this check engine light showed up a couple days ago. So let's plug in our little scan tool and see what the code is. Two codes, we've got a P0021 and a P0021 pending. So same code. So I looked up the P0021 code and it looks like the bank two intake camshaft is more advanced than what the ECM uh, has commanded it to be. So uh, some of the possible causes are dirty engine oil, engine oil is too low, engine oil is incorrect viscosity, camshaft variable valve timing, solenoid failure, uh, seized in advanced position, the camshaft phaser, continuous oil flow to variable camshaft timing chamber. Looks like this check engine light has a lot of causes relating to oil. So what I'm gonna do first to see if it works is change the oil. For this video, I'm not gonna go into details regarding the oil change. Basically, I'm gonna change the oil and see if it causes the check engine code to go away. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna clear the code and see if it returns. Okay, here we go underneath the Toreg now with all the plastic panels off. We can see we have our drain plug right here. Now last time when I changed the oil, it was about a year and a half ago and I got about four quarts out of this plug alone. Um, it was kind of weird because I read this car had about eight quarts of capacity, but um, only four quarts came out. Turns out there is another drain plug right here. Right? That's really weird. Leave it up to Volkswagen and those guys in Germany to, um, you know, put two uh, drain plugs on uh, an engine. But um, first off, before we loosen these guys, I am going to tackle the oil filter, which is right here. I'm going to go grab my trusty 36 mil socket. As you can see, the filter is actually, uh, you know, obviously it's pretty black, but the oil itself is very, very dark. So uh, yeah, it was definitely overdue for an oil change. So let's clean this guy up a little bit. It doesn't need to be excessively clean, unless you are, of course, excessive, but uh, as long as the, uh, ceiling surface in the oil filter housing doesn't have any debris you should be okay so this is the filter that i got for the toreg it's not an original uh, volkswagen filter but man is a really really reputable brand and i think these guys are the ones that actually make the filters for volkswagen so if you're interested this is the part number if you have an 05 toreg or a first gen one at least with a v8 this is going to be it and let's see inside we of course have the filter itself and the two little o-rings um, if we decide to swap them out which i think i am but um, either way uh, yeah this guy you can see it's made in germany right here so it's definitely a quality part um, i'll leave a link in the description down below just in case you're interested um, you'll know which one to get so I put the new oil o-ring in, now it's the filter's turn, goes in like this, let's try to screw this guy back in. It's 
So next up comes the fun part. We need to train the oil out of the oil pan and out of the engine itself. Now I hear these guys are a complete mess. So uh, I have my drain pan, I have cardboard, I have another drain pan here ready to go. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, it was kind of a mess, but not as bad as I expected. Most of the oil from the uh, second drain plug right there, it's still dripping a little bit, just came straight down. Now, I think the key is to have the car, um, the front of the car jacked up as high as possible. Now, right now I have these, uh, these ramps on here plus I have the air suspension set at the highest possible setting so what happens is the oil comes straight down misses the axle misses the steering rack misses the subframe right here so um, you know maybe a little tip if you guys are trying to do your own oil change less of a mess kind of so next I'm gonna put the drain plug back in and then uh, go back topside fill everything up with oil So now with the oil change, let's start it up and see if the check engine light went away. Looks like it's still there, um, but um, probably what I'll have to do is clear it out with the scanner and uh, see if uh, it'll come back. So now with the check engine light cleared out, uh, I've driven it for maybe about 10 miles or so and uh, it looks like it hasn't come back up yet, the check engine light. I remember I did it before I changed the oil, I tried to clear it and the check engine light came back on almost immediately as I put it in drive. So that seems to be a good sign but um, I'll do a uh, longer drive in the next couple of weeks or so and um, update you guys then. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And for more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.